some shortcuts that'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. That was your shortcut? I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them. These guys really don't like you, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Over here. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. We can make it. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now. Your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Close. Pull over in front of that bar. Celieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. 
I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. I have an appointment. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Get off. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. There, by the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. without the radio. Better find a new fare.
Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Breakneck! <laughs> 